All right, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Today, I'm going to reenact how I repaired this leader, Underwood leader typewriter. I don't think it's something that anybody will ever have to repeat because it's a rare thing. So, um, came in for cleaning service. Young kid has this. It's dirty. No problem. We're going to clean this, make it work right ribbon on it properly, make sure ribbon drive's working, which he said was a problem, and all that, but, you know, um, I'm looking at it, I figure out right away there's something wrong with the return while while he's waiting, he goes, oh yeah, it, it sometimes doesn't turn, it binds, and, and the index, you know, something's wrong here, there it goes, binds, this paw is just not in the right position, so, he leaves. I said, okay, I'll take a look at it. Now, if we get down in here and look at this paw, let's see if I can get some light in here. We'll see. Um, it, it drives to, so it, it drives that, right, that ratchet. One, and it kind of jams right there. I figured out that let me see if I can get some more light over here. And uh, this little paw really needs to be against this over there like that. It's not supposed to be over here. In fact it's catching on, on this stopper piece right here. So if it was over here it would come all the way up and bottom out right there. But instead, it's bottoming out on the top of this rack, and only going about one and a half spaces. It's not, it's not even getting to the ratchet detent um, spots. And the control down here, that controls one, two, three, right there, down here, isn't really even working because that lever is on the side. It's missing it. It's right there. See that? It's missing. It's not even engaging with that that piece. So it needs to be over there. So I'm looking up here. This doesn't look right. That, that spring assembly does not look right. And uh, it's not right, as far as I can tell. This is broken spring. Some kind of gizmo thing. Maybe that's supposed to have a... a, a a lip on it and hold this piece over is what I'm thinking because I don't see any other thing that, that would hold it against that so it, it just flops and doesn't work right and it jams up when that paws out of place it jams when you even roll it, the roller so I investigated it and I looked at other Underwood machines and nothing really had the same exact assembly here um, so I took it apart first I thought I had to take this this arm off to get to this piece and upon investigation I found if I do roll this roller far, if I manipulate this up and pass there I can get to this one screw right there and that is the key to taking this apart without overall so I'm going to take this off here, I'm going to at least unscrew this. It's a shoulder screw right there. Oops, that already moved, so I gotta re manipulate it. Okay, so I can get to it. There we go. Oops. And that's uh, tight, it's a tight fit there, but there it comes. It's kind of tricky too, it doesn't want to. Doesn't want to come out so then that piece is loose there's one little spring right here that comes up to the front here and uh, that comes off pretty easy in fact almost too easy right there so that's disconnected now that piece will come out of here if I manipulate it enough get my camera steady steady boy okay so there's that piece well, it's hard to get in and out of there. It doesn't. 
there it goes. So, so I had this piece out, and uh, trying to uh, figure out exactly what this spring does here, and then I noticed that that screw is loose. It's a shoulder screw right here, and it's it's loose. So I thought, well, you should tighten it down. Well, when I tightened it down, and uh, I retried it when I tightened it down, and I, I put this piece in and out, I don't know, 20 times now. So when I tighten this down, that, that spring was too tight, and it compresses. See, it's, the loop is on the side, and the loop is down here. It just doesn't do anything um, besides hold a little tension um something some sort of tension on there i guess so okay so i took it out and i'm like okay i gotta make a spring that attaches in that same spot that would hold that that way so you know i got some springs out like this that do you know specialty springs that whole drawer of these kind of springs here like that, that spring right there, and it did nothing worked. That failed. That was quite a waste of time trying to get that to work that way. Ended up uh, using trying this spring, just like that spring, but not as powerful. But ended up ended up with this little spring was the what I ended up with. So we we'll, we we'll should put this back together. And then I'll show you some more interesting things. So, so I put that back in there just to... Okay, that goes through here first. And then the spring goes on here. And then this piece goes on here. And we we'll connect it up here. I'm actually getting pretty good at, with these parts now that I've spent at least two hours with this part okay so that's tight and it, it's it kind of flops around I don't, I'm not sure what the purpose is besides it kind of holds it in place but the thing was it's still I got little pieces lying around here it's, it still wouldn't stay away from that edge where you know, it still had a tendency to want to ride, well, it did, it wanted to ride against this edge, and it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't engage that, that other piece here, yeah, it wouldn't ride on top of that piece, it, it fall between here still, so, then I, uh, well, took the plant out, I says, well, let's figure this out, so, uh, Figured out how to take the platen off. You gotta take this knob off, which is already loose. You gotta loosen this screw here with a screwdriver that I'm looking for. There it is. So just a small screw over here. And don't have to back it out all the way, just back it out. And then this shaft pulls out this way. So so now the shaft's out, you can take the platen roller out, Ooh, look at that, and uh, like that. So I'm thinking, well, I, I already looked down in there, I'd done some analysis, I thought maybe if I could put something against this <clears throat> to keep that paw from coming over, you know, keep it over here somehow. And I'm like, there's no, there's no. But then I looked, there's a lot of clearance down in here. A lot of room still down in here. So I did. I tried uh, this big old washer here, like that. I tried a couple washers, actually. I tried, you know, some smaller ones like this one. That wasn't tall enough. I tried some other ones. And I tried a pair of them. But I think I, and I, think I ended up with this one. I'm not a so, 
and uh, you know I tried moving this part around this part slips out of here but that didn't go any other way besides just one way so end result was I put this washer on here and stuck this plaid back in here and that's a little tricky to get the washer and stuff back in here but I'm gonna move the detents here out of place and then it goes back in okay so and if you look now that's right against that 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 one two three adjustment right here so I'm like okay well that looks pretty pretty good pretty good start so let's put the uh, shaft back in here get the roller secured at least all right got it all the way through go ahead and tighten this up on the side again and uh, so I can turn the roller with the knob there we go and release the ratchet there we go Oh, tighten this up a little more. Like that. Okay. So then, <clears throat> I want to stick that piece back in here, which is a little tricky, but it can be done. Because I've been doing it, and uh, so we drop this in. I figured out best is move this arm out of the way initially because this. <coughs> this ring would, uh, <coughs> excuse me, would bind up. I'm gonna get this, the spring just right. Okay, I think that's as good as it gets. So, I need to get this piece underneath this piece. Like, like that. Okay, there it goes, and we gotta manipulate it. Okay, there we go. And that piece goes about right there. Now, one of the tricky parts was getting this arm, so the, there's a stud right here that's gotta go into here. Getting that <clears throat> in the position was a, was a little tricky, but I've done this a few times. I think I get it pretty quick. <coughs> here okay oh we got it but okay so there that goes now need to roll this roller and move the paw at the same time and the arm at the same time to like maximum maximum distance there and that gives me room to put the screw back in right there Okay, so God, it looks like it's lined up pretty good. And uh, put the screw back in here, which is a tricky proposition. But I'll get it here pretty quick. Oh, right, I think it's okay. There it goes. <coughs> So the next thing is to connect that, that little tiny spring, it's got to be connected, which is a really been a little tricky, the spring down in here, right, right there, oops, okay, well that's good enough, so that's got to be Connected to the stud. Come on. Oh, oh, I think. I got it. There we go. Now let's put this arm. You know, it looks like it is going against that washer, but that's enough that it engages with that little control right here. 
So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One. Two, three. One, two, three. And let's go two. That's one, that's two. One, two. One, one. It's working. I almost thought it still, it still wants to flop that way. But with that spacer, that washer right there. So I almost think somebody took us apart and left parts out of it, maybe. That sure seems like that was working. And then it comes right to that stop. That stop, that piece of metal right there is the stopper. And, uh, and it's perfect right there, and it lands right on the detent. Right there, perfect. So this is fixed. And the return arm snaps back fine. No binds, which, of course, after five attempts, I got it to not bind with that. This size spring up here. And the right size washers. That's it. It's, it's fixed, actually. Went back together. Now <laughs> I figured it out after hours. So now we gotta we revive this guy. So that's maximum one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, and then one. And everything is happy, it looks like. Alright, that is my video of the day for a, <clears throat> a complete you know um, improvised repair on this Underwood leader. I'm not sure how much of a leader it is with, but I think somebody may, maybe got in there and messed this up because uh, otherwise that screw wouldn't have been loose. That spring wouldn't have been broken. I don't see how, I don't think that maybe is even right to go in there, but I like it. I'm, I, I almost didn't fix it. I actually set it aside twice and came back to it this morning and got it. So there we are. Dwayne, PhoenixTypeWriter.com, success. Thank you.